Hey everyone, it's Clint uh, coming with a quick video here. So I wanted to answer one of the questions that I get a lot. There's probably three questions I would say that I get very, very frequently from other, uh, you know, aspiring indie comics creators and uh, especially from writers usually. Uh, so first one would be, how do you find an artist? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question today. I think I've answered it before many times. I Maybe I could do a video another time. That's one question. Uh, another question is, uh, how do you build your mailing list? That's a big one. And the third question is, how do you know when you're successful? How do you define success? And that is a question that I want to attempt to answer today uh, because it, it's a tough one. So maybe a little bit more of a, I don't know, self-centered video, self-focused. It's not really my intent. Uh, it's just, there's no other news items I really want to talk about. This is kind of, I think, interesting. So I hope you find it interesting. All right. Uh, before we get into that, Fatal is on Indiegogo right now. We're only uh, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, three backers away. I don't know why I'm struggling with math. Wait, didn't this change? Let me, let me refresh this. Okay. Three backers away from hitting 700 backers, which is... Uh, really, really good. Uh, I, I'm really excited about that. So if you haven't backed it yet, check it out. It's in the link in the description below. All right. I posted this and, uh, the, the, yeah, I'm not trying to toot my own horn. What I'm trying to do is express to you, a, a story and a trajectory. When I was first trying to get into comics and this started well before my YouTube channel started, um, you know, nobody saw that part of the story. What I was doing is I was trying to get into comics in a traditional way. And I'm doing air quotes here. Uh, so that would be, I'm going to get into an anthology somewhere. I'm going to get, uh, what I really wanted was a book published through image. That was my dream. Uh, I, I wanted to do some creator owned property and get it out there and have people read it and just love it. I thought about crowdfunding, but that scared me uh, a lot because <laughs> I figured, how do you crowdfund if you don't have an audience first? I got to get people to read my stuff first. And so it's, uh, I know that feeling like if you're trying to break into comics, especially as a writer, you have no platform to, to jump off of. You have n nowhere to start. And it feels very much like you know, is it the chicken or the egg? How do you build this thing from nothing, uh, basically? So nobody saw that part of my process and me learning to write and me struggling with uh, rejection letters and those kinds of things. You don't see that, uh, but that happened. And that was uh, three or four years of that kind of stuff. And before that... <laughs> I was working on writing novels. So that was, uh, an, you know, another leg in the journey. So you don't see that. I posted this on Twitter the other day, and essentially what I'm talking about here in this post, let me read it for you real quick. I said, two years ago, I started a YouTube channel with no published comics. Today, I'm celebrating the completion of my second book, and I'm working on a book most writers can only dream of. I can't wait to see what next year brings. What I've basically outlined here in this tweet is when things started working or at least when things felt like they were making progress. Uh, when you're starting out at first, it feels like you're making absolutely no progress or you're just not sure. And so the question comes, how do I know if this is successful? I think another way to word that is how do I know if I'm not wasting my time? Because there's a lot of other things you could be doing with your time, and it's just hard to know. Um, so first off, developing your craft. If you're a writer or, or you're an artist and you're developing your craft, that is good. Like it, as long as you're learning and you are, um, you know, tr making improvements. I know for writing, it can sometimes it just feels so subjective, and you're like, why, why is this better than that? All the decisions you know you make. Good idea to watch writing videos. You know, get watch lectures. They have tons of lectures on writing on YouTube. It's fantastic. Uh, Brandon Sanderson has a ton. I used to watch a bunch of those. Learned a ton about writing that way, 
and then you just write. If you can write and have an artist draw it, that's fantastic. Uh, if you can't, just write scripts anyway. Write short stories, plan on what you're doing. But if you're developing your craft, that is not a waste of time. And you should not consider that a failure or uh, not a success, even though sometimes it feels like you write a script and you put it, you know, you save it to your writing folder and no one ever sees it. It'll, it'll just sit there and rot. That is not a waste of time. That is developing your craft. And you have to start that. You have to have that foundation to seize an opportunity when you see it. Okay. So that, that's, the, that's the first thing. All right. Now, success is going to be different for different people. If you are somebody that has already worked in the mainstream comic book industry and you come over and you start doing crowdfunding, success for you is probably going to be, it's probably going to have a lot to do with the paycheck. Maybe it's going to have a lot to do with creative freedom. And, and that's cool. I suspect most people listening to this are probably not comic book pros. There's some out there I know. You're probably not a comic book pro though. And you're, you feel like you're starting from nothing. Your measure of success is going to be different. Uh, so like me, I had nothing published. The first step to success for me was having something published that people could read. Uh, you know, I had, I'd published a couple of novels, but that, that didn't count. I needed some comic books published. So people knew about my comics writing. And so I had some titles associated with my name. That was important. So to me, making that first book was a success, even if I made no money. Uh, I made a very little bit of money, which was great. I'm so thankful for that. Uh, that's more than I think most people can say at their first comic. But I didn't make very much money at all. It wasn't some massive success. Most of the, of the money went into producing the book, which was great. That was successful. My second book was similar. I made a little bit more money, uh, which was nice. But again, still what this was showing people is a, it's building up my own credibility and it's building up my reputation. This is massively important uh, for that to happen. Okay. Uh, so that, that was a success. If you've worked in comics, obviously that you're going to need a little bit more than that. Okay. So at some point, I think this is another thing people are asking. At some point, you're making books. Are you just going to keep making comic books that make little to no money? Is that worth it? Is that successful? Uh, that kind of depends. And this is where there's such, I think, a chasm in the comic book industry. You'll have people like, what's his name? Scott Kurtz, who says it's just about making the comics. You don't care about the money. Uh, and he, that's what he says anyway. Uh, now, obviously, if you want to make comics full time, you're going to need money to do that. If you want to make comics part-time, I'm finding that there's, there's a credible route to go. Like I, I could have a nice small business making comics. I keep my day job. I could do that and continue making comics and you know, it would be great. Like I ride off into the sunset. It'd be fantastic. I could quit my, my other job. I've got, oh, yeah, I've got a window cleaning business. It's just little. I don't do residential. Don't call me. No, I'm not going to go to your house. Uh, but I uh, I did that for years to help pay the bills. I can see a route in the near future where I wouldn't have to do that anymore. I don't have to clean windows anymore. I don't have to scrape, scrape bird poop off windows. I can make comics instead for my side, side uh, hustle. Uh, is that success? That seems pretty successful to me. You know, I can trade something I don't enjoy doing for something I do enjoy doing, and I can make more money doing it. That's success. Okay, so this this is sort of how I'm thinking through things. Now, ultimately, the goal, of course, would be to, to do comics full-time, and I think most people I talk to want to do that. That's a massive success, and that's a big one. It's a big one to get to. I would love to get there, um, but... I'm not going to frame everything as a failure uh, unless I achieve that sort of ultimate goal. I think that would be silly and that would probably prevent me from really enjoying and taking the success along the way. Um, yeah, so, so that's writing full time. 
so another thing is the sort of critical side of it. You know, we talked about the money. We talked about uh, trading things you don't like for something you do like. But success as a creator, success as a writer, getting recognition for being a good writer, getting critical praise, how important is that? Um, I'll tell you, when it comes to your own readers, that's, for me, it's pretty important to have the readers enjoy the book. If everyone uh, hates your writing, they hate your books, that doesn't feel great. And I don't really see things lasting very long in that case. So again, like it's not like a, making a mistake in a book or not making it a perfect book is going to mean that you're not successful. It's just that you need to aggressively learn from those mistakes and learn how to give your readers what they want and what they like and find the right readers. Maybe you got, you know, there's readers out there that they're not into your particular style. You know, it's a stylistic kind of thing. You're finding the right readers. Uh, but that that's important. Would I um, love the, the praise and accolades, accolades of my peers so that they would say, oh, Clint is a fantastic writer. Of course I would. But ultimately, I think where the success lies is not what critics think uh, that are, you know, there to, you know, be critics. That's their, their job or that's their hobby or whatever. And it's not to get praise from, uh, you know, your peers. It's to make stuff that your readers like. And if your readers like it, that is success. Ultimately, at the end of the day, that is what you're looking for. Uh, so if you can do that, to me, that's success. You don't need to win an award. You don't need, uh, you know, any, any other kinds of pats on the back. Those are nice, but you don't really need them. Okay. So uh, beyond that, I'm sure there's many other ways that you could define success as in making indie comics. Um, I'm still learning myself how this, is, how this all works out. But like I posted here, I've been working at this for two years. And I've got some writing credits now in comics. That's a, to me, a major success. Um, and then also there's just opportunities, <laughs> you know, taking opportunities that come and seeking opportunities. And a lot of those are going to come from working with other people, talking with other people, sending in that submission, for example, like to Alterna Comics. When I, when I send in a submission to Alterna, I think that uh, another just a little win along the way. Maybe for you also, it might be submitting to an anthology or it might be, you know, anything you can do to get your stuff in front of readers to get them uh, to react to it, to respond to it. And then obviously a, a, a aggressive improvement after that. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think about success in comics. What would mean success for you? Or what would mean failure? That could make a whole other video. What would mean failure and when should you stop making comics? Um, I'd love to know in the comments below. Don't forget to check out Fatal and support it. It's in the link in the description below. And I'm telling you, this book is going to be cherished. It's going to be something that people are going to pull off the shelves again and again to just pour over it, reread it. And uh, yes, very, very good writing because I have done aggressive improvement in my writing. Uh, you have to. <laughs> uh, so appreciate everyone for supporting me and, uh, and Charlie on this project. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, back the book. That's it. All right. See you in the next video.